वी आर टेकिंग आर डी शर्मा सोल्यूशन क्लास टेन मैथ्स चैप्टर फोर्टीन एक्सरसाइज फोर्टीन पॉइंट फोर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द सेंट्रॉइड ऑफ द ट्राइंगल्स होज वट इज इज आर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द सेंट्रॉइड ऑफ द ट्राइंगल वट इज द सेंट्रॉइड ऑफ द ट्राइंगल इट मीन्स इफ यू हैव अ ट्राइंगल एंड दीज आर द मीडियम्स ऑफ द ट्राइंगल दैट इज द मिड पॉइंट ज्वाइन दिस इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस साइड ज्वाइन and this is the midpoint of this this side so join from other opposite vertex this point is called the centroid and there is a straight forward formula for the centroid that is this point if you say it is x y then x will be equal to if this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 and this is x3 y3 so this x will be equal to x1 plus x2 by x2 plus x3 by 3 like this And y will be equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 like this. So we just have to take these values and put in here. Here x1, y1. So we'll just take x1, x2, x3 first. One minus one and three. So one plus minus one plus three by two. This is x centroid first point. X coordinate centroid. Y will be equal to Four minus one minus two, three. It is three. So here, one minus one is zero. Three by three is one. So you get one as the first x x coordinate of the centroid, and this will be equal to four minus one. That is three. Three minus two is minus one. The three minus two is one. One by three. So these are the two points or centroid points. Two vertices of a triangle. Let me just recheck. Four minus one is three. Three minus two is one. One by three. It's correct. One by one by three. Two vertices of a triangle. These two and its centroid is at the origin. Find the coordinates of third vertex. So we'll do the same thing. This is x one, x two. So one plus three. And its centroid is at origin, so origin is what zero zero. So we don't know the third point, so we'll say third point is x y. So we'll add x by three. This is equal to zero. X point is zero. Y point is also zero. Y will come how? We have to add two five and y. So two plus five plus y by three. So this will become four plus x. Of course, this is going to be zero. So four plus x equal to zero. That is x will be equal to minus four. Here you have y plus seven. Five plus two is seven. So y plus seven equal to zero. Y will be equal to minus seven. So x and y are minus four and minus seven. Prove analytically that the line segment joining the middle points of two sides of a triangle is equal to the half of the third side. So how we are going to make this? First, we'll make a triangle. This is a triangle, and we'll take one of the vertex at the origin, the other here, and this one here. So the origin will be zero zero. When you go on the right hand side, that is on the x-axis. So this will be, say, x one y one. Just take any point x one y one. Say here the point is x y, x y. So what will be the coordinate of this D if we take this as the midpoint? And what will be the coordinate of E? If it is E, is the midpoint of AC, and D is the midpoint midpoint of AB. D will be zero plus x by two. Okay, it's a midpoint. So x plus zero by two, that is, it is x by two. This will be equal to uh, the y coordinate will be equal to y plus zero by two, that is y by two. So this point is x by two and y by two. How about this point? How about this point? See. We have to understand that we'll try to find out the distance and then we'll equate it. Right? I'll just show you how. The di distance, or first we'll take this point E. E will be what? X plus x one by two. X plus x one by two. The y will be equal to y plus y one by two. Okay. Now let us take the distance here, DE. And we have to show that this is half of 
this distance. So what is this distance first? This is easy to find out. Y2 minus Y1 that is Y1 minus 0 plus X1 minus 0 whole square and the root. This is Y1 square. I am taking X1 here. X1 square plus Y1 square and the root. So this is the distance of this side. We have to prove that the distance DE is half of this. So let us prove it here only. So y2 minus y1 that is y plus y1 by 2 minus y by 2 plus this x plus x1 by 2 minus x by 2 under root this is the distance. So I am just uh, skipping this under root and you just assume that under root is there. What this can be? This can be written as y by 2 this can be written as plus y1 by 2. This is y by 2 plus this can be written as x by 2 plus x1 by 2 minus x by 2. You see this gets cancelled. So it will be y1 by 2. Oh, square is also there. y1 square by 4 plus this gets cancelled. This will be x1 by x1 square by 4. I am taking 1 by 4 outside to be half. Under root of 1 by 4 or under root of 4 is. 2, so 2 it will come out. This will be x1 square plus y1 square. So if you see, this is DE and this is BC. And BC is half of uh, this. BC DE is BC by 2. It is half of 2. So this is how you can prove them analytically. This is how you have to do in your exam and in your assignment or Last work. Prove that the line joining the middle points of opposite sides of a quadrilateral and the line uh, and the join of the middle points of the diagonal mates in a point and bisect one another. So what it shows is we have a quadrilateral. So we can take it as some uh, regular quadrilateral, and one side will take it on the y-axis, one on the x-axis, so that it is easier for us to compute the what what uh, the question has asked so we have to uh, finally conclude that this pq this p and q and r and s they bisect each other for that what we are going to do is we'll take the x axis and y axis we'll make a quadrilateral here this we say as 0 0 origin this we say as x0 because say x distance is here, y will of course be 0. Here we say because x will be 0, some y will be here. This will be xy. This these are the diagonals. So when we join these these two points, that is the this midpoint, this midpoint, and this midpoint, this midpoint. Point. So this this must bisect each other. So let us find out the coordinates of these points. This is say R, S, Q, and P. Let us find out the coordinates here. What will be P? P will be zero plus x by two that is x by two, comma zero plus zero by two that is zero. What will be this point? Zero plus zero by two that is zero. And y plus 0 by 2, that is y by 2. 0 and y by 2. What will be this point? 0 plus, oh, of course, this will be x y, right? 0 plus x by 2, that is x by 2. So this is y plus y by 2, that is 2, 2y by 2. 2y, y, y plus y by 2, that is 2y by 2, that is y. x by 2 and y. What will be this point? This will be x plus x by 2, that is x, comma, y plus 0 by 2, that is y by all these points are known. What will be the midpoint of this line? 0 plus x by 2, x by 2. y plus y plus y by 2. Okay, y plus y by 2 by 2. So this is y by 2, sorry. y by 2 plus y by 2 by 2. So y by 2 plus y by 2 is what? It is y. So it will be y by 2. Now let us let us come here. This is x by 2 
प्लस एक्स बाय टू बाय टू एक्स बाय टू प्लस एक्स बाय टू बाय टू एंड वाई विल बी वाई प्लस जीरो बाय टू दैट इज वाई बाय टू व्हाट इज एक्स बाय टू प्लस एक्स बाय टू सीक्वल टू एक्स दिस विल बी एक्स एक्स बाय टू वाई बाय टू सो इफ यू सी दिस पॉइंट दैट इज दू कैन से मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस लाइन इज दिस वन एंड मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस लाइन इज ऑल्सो दिस वन the both are same pq and rs bisect each other this is what we have to prove if g is with the centroid of triangle abc and pb any other point in the line prove that pa square plus pb square plus pg square equal to ga square plus gb square plus gc square plus 3gb square so first of all we'll make a triangle and we'll try to find out the points That is the coordinate. I'll make a triangle. This is A zero zero. Say this is B. From here to here, let us assume it to be A A zero, and this. Uh, Let us assume it to be CD, and the point is C. So we have a triangle ABC. The coordinates are like this. And uh, what is the centroid? Centroid of uh, a triangle of G is the centroid. So what will be the G point? G will be zero plus C plus A by two. G will be zero plus C plus A by two. It is x one plus x two plus x three by three. Sorry. It will be three, and the y will be d plus zero plus zero by two uh, by three, so d by three. So a plus c by three is your. This point is a plus c by three. X is this one, and y will be d by three. So this is point, your centroid. Now we have to prove this one. So what we will do here is this is three g p square. We'll take three GP square here. That will be minus three GP square, and we'll take one GP with this one, one GP with this one, one GP with this one. So now this is three GP minus three GP square, and this is one, this is two, this is three. So now what is PA? P be any other point in the in the plane. Prove that. So P can be any other point. P can be any other point. So, P be any other point in the plane? How how can we find a P? Let us say P is a sum here. Sum you can take anywhere. It depends on you. See x y. Let us say that this P is x y. So what will what will be the distance of P A? This is y minus zero whole square plus x minus zero whole square under root. That is. If you want to take PA square, it will be x square plus y square, right? The distance is x square plus y square. What will be GP square? Let me just change the color so that you understand it better. What will be GP square? It will be x minus a plus c by three plus y minus d by three whole square. So I'll just write it here like this: GP square. And we have to subtract this GP with all of these three times. We have to write. What will be PB square? It will be x minus a whole square plus y minus zero whole, zero whole square. It is y square. So it is x minus a whole square plus y square. What will be PC square? This and this. It will be x minus c whole square plus y minus d whole square. Here it is. Now. Put all these values in this formula. That is, P A square minus G P square, then P B square minus this one, and P C square minus this one. So this is how it is done. Okay, this is how it is done. So we have this one, this one, this first one, and minus this one, then second one minus this one, and third one minus this one. So we need to just rearrange this because this is already you know. 
even if you want it to be minus 3 gp square bring it here minus 3 gp square you don't want to do this it's also okay it doesn't matter but it's just for ease x square plus y square just open this x square plus y x square plus a square minus 2x plus y square this will be x square plus c square minus 2xc this will be y square plus d square minus 2yd like this just open it and just combine that and let it be like this this one be like this if you see x square x square x square 3x square x square so you have 3x square what is the x square you will get from here from here only you get 3 3 x square because it is thrice of x square see this 3 x square so 1 3 x square x square x square will cancel 1 x square and then we have the other thing that is y square so how many y squares we have the y square y square is this uh this is y square i guess y square we, we have we don't have any y y square so this is 3 y square again you see this is thrice this is y square so 3 y square also gets cancelled 3 x square 3 x square cancels 3 y square 3 y square cancel all these are here you also expand this now you have to expand all these when you see when you the answer is in front of you the solution is in front of you so it will come as this one finally 2 a square plus 2 c square plus 2 d square minus 2 ac by 3 so this has to come and what will cut it is being shown here by this cross sign and finally you have 3 a square minus a square that is 2 a square like this 3 c square minus c square 2 c square 3 d square minus d square that is 2 d square and finally you have minus 2 ac by 3 so this you get now we have to take the other side which is g a square plus g b square plus g c square what is g a square g a square would be see a plus this is g a square a plus c by 3 minus 0 will leave that 0 whole square plus d by 3 minus 0 whole square so we'll just put d by 3 whole square this is g a square what will be g b square it will be a plus c by 3 minus near minus, minus a whole square plus d by 3 minus 0 i'll just i'm just leaving this 0 so d by 3 whole square this will be g b square what will be g c square it will be a plus c by 3 minus c whole square plus d by 3 minus d whole square this is the thing which i wanted to tell you okay these three i just wrote on this that, that page and we need to just add them and when you add them and just need to because all nine will come just take nine as the denominator and you just add them and you see the final resultant or simplified version will come exactly exactly as what we did here so that is how left hand side and right hand side are equal this is what we have to prove this is all about this uh, topic. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.